desperately sought to save oh. his dying son by giving him. And it, it seems all right if what you want to do is just kick the fuck out of things. Welcome back to the fourth part of our look at Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2. It's out this week. Wanted to give you a good look at it uh, so you can measure it up against the uh, the reviews. It's been, it's been, I've got over um, some bit rough review scores. Whoa, fuck! But to be honest, like right now, it's not looking quite so bad. Sorry, it's quite hard to talk and beat this chap. He's got a giant fucking spinny swordy thing. Fucking Jesus! Right. Anyway, so this is the this is the Xbox. This is the Xbox 360 version. Well done, well done me. Whoa. Uh, yeah, this is the Xbox 360 version. I've got nothing else to add. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, mate. Go on, throw your spinny thing. Come on. Dodge to avoid it. Okay, go on. I am dodging. To be honest, the first... I mean, I probably... This is, like, about half an hour into the game. And it's been... It's been pretty epic. But as I said in the last bit, if you watch the last uh, the last bit of these videos, the last video even, they uh, it's already starting to get a little bit samey. But I don't know. It's it's pretty hard to tell just from the just from the first bits how it's all going to pan out. Come on, die! I need to break his defense here, don't I? Fuck you. I'm so gonna kill you. Come here. You're gonna die, mate. You are going to die. <sighs> Fucking hell, fire. Come here. <sighs> Come on, man, really? That's it. Fucking die! Just die! Come on! No, oh, come on. I, th I think you're just lying to yourself now, golden holy dude. Oh, come on, really? Every time I sort of knock its health down. It gets more health. Fuck you. Come on, come here. You. That's right. Bite his head off. Go on, bite his fucking head off. Christus vivit. Christus 
du sabo mi mano te defender. Maldita et excommunicate dai monos. Fucking kill that motherfucker. But your god showed me another path. Kill him. Yes. Emmanuel. Sorted. Sabahot. Adios. Inkiros. Athanatos. Jehovah. Adonai. So yeah, it's out this week. That's why the power of your god cannot destroy me. Because I am his chosen one. And it seems, it seems all right if what you want to do is just kick the fuck out of things. Who doesn't? Better fucking kill this guy. That's that's better. That's better. Go on, fucking kill them all. Come on, dude. You giant vampire bastard. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Actually, if this is being published on Friday, it's out today. Dude! Look at that! <coughs> fucking explosions from space and all sorts of shit. There you go, my first fucking achievement. False chosen one. Not bad. And now I've got a fucking crossy shit thing. And I've killed everyone. And I've killed a giant robot. And I've murdered the bloody metal golden thing. And you can buy this today. I don't know. <coughs> whether or not it's any good. Because you probably have to play the entire thing. It's a, it's a massive game apparently. It's a, It goes on forever and ever. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of cutscene type stuff going in there. If you're into Castlevania, you probably know what that that bit meant. But um, I've got to admit that I'm uh, I'm not I'm not a Castlevania encyclopedia, so I really don't know. But to be honest, from the from the sort of the bits I've just recorded, which is about like half an hour, forty minutes of it, I guess, seems all right. For countless generations. Apparently, it's like as, as taken as a as a whole. The entire thing is a bit is a bit boring. Seems all right to me. <laughs> then what do I know? As that ancient prophecy foretold, whomsoever defeats the Lords of Shadow will sit upon their throne to rule as the Prince of Darkness. But before fate had played its hand, and unknown to Gabriel, his beloved wife Marie conceived a son by him. Story. The Brotherhood of Light warned her of that ancient And again, apparently, the story all goes a bit, uh, a bit insane or. So. But again, I, I, I wouldn't know really the relevance. For it is written that only the blood of that lineage has the power to defeat the Prince of Darkness. Thus, when newly born, the child Trevor was Babies. Father, Everyone loves babies. A holy warrior, I know I do. In secret, so that one day he would be ready to stand against his own blood, as foretold. That day would come, some 25 years later. For what had once been Gabriel Belmont was now a powerful vampire known as Dracula, the Dragon. The Brotherhood of Light fought against the onslaught of his dark armies, which laid waste to towns and villages across the land, but to little avail. Trevor was now fully grown to manhood, and the truth of his origin and destiny of the Belmont clan was finally revealed to him. So he set out to confront his father. And end his family shame forever. All right. But Trevor failed, and was mortally wounded in the confrontation with his okay. father. He was no match for Dracula's terrible power. No, he was no Yet, match for Dracula's terrible power. Came, Trevor finally revealed his true identity. Dracula was driven mad with grief and rage over the revelation. <laughs> he desperately sought to save his dying son by giving him his own lifeblood, but it was too late. Far too late. 
So he thought. You probably need to be into into the whole sort of Castlevania thing uh, to be to be into all of this. I guess this is kind of a, a sort of a, a big plus of the series or a hindrance, depending on how you look at it. Because you know, if you don't kind of he would take the name if you don't kind of care, he would be a force for good, opposing his then there, there seems to be a, an awful lot of uh, in that very moment, of talking about things you don't really care about. Dracula. But fate had something else in mind. Meanwhile, Trevor's own son grew into a fearsome warrior with a reputation that far exceeded even that of his illustrious father. Simon Belmont knew little of his own lineage, nor his importance in the events to come. All he knew so I think this is basically the, is this the entire the story of Castlevania? Again, I, I don't know, so like if it's, uh, if it isn't, then I'm sorry. If it is, then maybe, maybe a little, little too much? But then you know it's Castlevania, isn't it? So like you can't, you, know, you can't, you can't fuck the fans. You can't, you can't fuck with Castlevania fans. So I suppose you have to do, actually have to give them everything. And um, it appears that they have given them everything. Joined forces with him. Blood bound them together, and fate took a hand once again, as finally they met their dreaded foe in mortal combat. And yet, Alucard sensed that all was not as it should be. Dracula would return. Okay. There. You can shut the big book. And I think many centuries later. I think that's probably a good place to call it a day. I think you probably got a reasonable idea of what to expect from the game from those four videos. As I said, it's out today. That's what it looks like without that bit in the middle. Um, so it caught some uh, caught some fairly nasty reviews. But then if you're if you're into smacking the shit out of like golden golden men and who isn't, then uh, this may well be for you. Uh, go and buy it. Why not? <coughs> Hopefully next time when I do the, these uh, these videos, my children won't have given me a really nasty call. <laughs> Sounds like me. Anyway. There you go. Go buy it, or not, as the case may be. Until next time.